surgeon by profession and I work for ADC Livestock Genetic Center, a unit uh, within uh, Agricultural Development Corporation. The center is located along Kitale and the Base Road. It is a relatively new center. It was established in 2018 through a government grant that was given to ADC. ADC Livestock Genetic Center is a bull semen production facility. And the objective of uh, establishing the center was first to complement local genetic supply. There was a gap between what Kagrik and semen importers were providing and uh, the number of animals that were available for insemination in the country. And the center came in to fill that gap. The center has also been providing genetic diversity because whoever, wherever we are recruiting the bulls from, Kagrik may not have recruited from there. We have bulls that came from South Africa two years ago and they are bulls of high genetic merit. The achievements that we have had in the center is that we started with four bulls four years ago, two Asha bulls and two Frisian bulls. And right now, we can boast of, uh, we, we have got 72 bulls across 11 breeds, which include daily breeds, beef breeds and also dual purpose breeds. So far, we have been able to process 1.2 million, over 1.2 million doses of deep frozen semen. And the semen, we have been distributing it for the last uh, three years through 42 distributor agents who are spread out in 27 countries all over the, world, the country. We have got uh, agents in Kilifi, we have got an agent, agents in uh, the eastern region, we have got agents in western region, central and also Leftivari. The other thing that we have been able to do is to work with the county governments over the last two years. We have been able to reach out to 21 counties spread out in western Kenya, Lift Valley and also Central Kenya. And the objective is to capacity build their stakeholders along the daily value chain and also supply genetics to them. In fact, as we stand now, we have been able to train 325 AI technicians in 11 counties over the last two years. The genetics that we produce in our laboratory, we use uh, very, very good state-of-the-art equipment. The packaging is done well. The printing of the straws is also done well. And the semen that we have been distributing, we have been getting feedback from the AI technicians in the field. The conception rates are good, between 80 to 90%. And also the bulls from which we are distributing semen from have been especially selected to meet the breeding objectives of our farmers in Kenya. We are looking at a high feed efficiency conversion, which should be high, medium-sized cows, well-developed, strongly attached adders, good feet and legs, good fertility, and all these are aspects that the farmers require for them to be able to produce large volumes of milk from their cows and efficiently so. 
We have got a marketing strategy that we have been using, and this includes reaching out to the AI technicians and farmers through field days, agricultural shows, through publicity material, and through FM radio interviews and also TV interviews. We have been reaching out to them and explaining to them the merit of our genetics in this center. We have also been making sure that the deliveries we make to our agents out there in the field are prompt. As soon as they make an order, we do not want to keep them waiting. We want to deliver the order as soon as possible. And we have also been engaging the county governments and cooperative societies so that they can be able to render efficient and uh, effective AI service delivery through capacity building of their stakeholders. We have got future plans in this center. <clears throat> the first thing that we want to do is to continue engaging the county governments and cooperative societies in what I have said as capacity building and supply of genetics. And this will ensure that the services they render are efficient and efficient and also affordable to the AI, to the, to the farmers. We are also looking forward to establishing a sexy semen laboratory so that we can be able to avail gender selected semen in the near future. We also shall be collaborating with the breeding institutions in the dairy countries in the world, including Denmark, Holland, and also Canada, because we want to do genomic testing of our bulls so that we can be able to evaluate quantitatively the genetic value of our bulls, pass that farmer to AI technicians and also farmers so that they can be able to make considered decisions while selecting the bulls they want to breed their animals with. We would also want to procure a liquid nitrogen plant which will be based in ADC Ranet so that we can be able to improve the quality chain for semen and be able to better the conception rates and also improve the uptake of AI services in areas where availability of liquid nitrogen has been a challenge. As far as customer satisfaction is concerned, we have been availing well-packaged and quality semen to our customers. Actually, our ADC semen is known for that. It is also known well out there in the field for high conception rates. And the calves that are being dropped out of our semen, they are strong, they are growing fast with a will to milk, and the in calf the, the heifers in fast lactation for the fresh and breed, they are doing more uh, 28 kilos per day and over. And for the Asha breed, they are doing 25 kilos and over per day. We have also been having collaborations with other institutions in the livestock uh, subsector, and these include the breed societies. The breed societies, we have asked them to send representatives to our bull recruitment committee. We refer to it as the Genetic Advisory Committee. It is a committee that is responsible for recruiting bulls into the center. And the breed societies have got their own standards. So when these representatives come for our meetings, they are able to present their standards based on what their members require. And we are able to draw out the requirements. The booths that come into our station will need to meet before they are recruited here. The one thing that we want to ensure is that we are able to, to meet the breeding objectives of the breeders in that particular breed. 
We have also been working with the Kenya Veterinary Board, which is the regulator of the veterinary profession, in trainings and refresher courses, training of AI technicians, and also refresher courses for AI technicians, and also the extension officers who work out there in the field. Anything.